Hello everyone and welcome back to here in Germany where we're doing war again because fuck everybody that's why I, I actually didn't want to swear that was just purely accidental oh fuck oh. I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm gonna try to swear less. Yes, yes, I am clearly capable of not swearing. Promise you that much. Uh, bloody hell. Does, is hell considered a swear? Hell is not considered a swear, right? A bit ridiculous. Right? Or bloody. No, that's not a swear. But anyway, yeah, we're... Uh, we're currently fighting... Teutonia, Semon, Semnoin, Semnonia, okay, Semnonia, Poznan, and Veltea Australis. Australis, I'm assuming, means something in, like, in Latin, because, uh, it's nothing, like, what does it mean, though? Hmm, or maybe Greek. Possible Greek. Probably Latin, though. But what does it mean? Because I don't know. I should know. But yeah. Because otherwise it wouldn't be a thing in both... Uh, like, like, Because this is, the game is converted from Imperator, which is a Roman game. A Roman. Quote, unquote, game. Uh, yeah, a Roman game. In a sense. Because it's Imperator Rome. Um, it's, it should be, like, the, most of the names should be in Latin. If you're, if there's any name that you don't, that doesn't check out with the game itself. And doesn't really fit in the setting and, like, the base game. Then it's probably, it's probably a name... From Imperator. So it's probably it's probably Latin. But yeah, frame rate, absolute trash. As per usual. But hey, it could be worse, I think. Yeah, no, it could definitely be worse. Come on, merge the merge the goddamn armies. And merge those two goddamn armies. And now we come here. And now we come here. And together, we achieve death of our enemies. Specifically. And the fact that our Empress is in charge of this army is beautiful. I honestly love this. Let's go break these fuckers. We'll get there eventually. Uh, yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna ruin some people. As we usually do. From Greek... I'm sorry. Who? You. Ho. What you doing? This is not permitted. Uh, this part... This part of Venice. I'm guessing you're a general in this army. Why did you do this? From Greek... To... Prinalpesian. Prenalpe God damn it. Why? Why gotta do shit like this? Uh, culture is gonna be such a pain. Well, I guess it's mostly Pernalpegian in that region. But culture is gonna, is gonna be s such a fucking pain to deal with in uh, U4. I wonder how bad it's gonna be. Like, what What are the... Can you get, uh, like, multicultural traits or something? To, like, ideas? Multicultural multi ideas to mitigate, to mitigate the damage? Or maybe even get bonuses out of it. Instead of uh, getting screwed over by having hundreds of different cultures in your empire. Maybe there's a way to make it work. Make it actually help you. Maybe. Because, I mean... Learning perk available. Cool. Because you'd think that playing as the Byzantines, that would be a thing that you'd want. Carefree. Wash your hands. Carefree. Because, um, like, the Byzantine Empire was historically pretty much free game. Like, 
the culture, obviously there was prejudice, obviously, like, the ruling class was not exactly, like, it, it wasn't all fun and games, obviously. What? I just, I think I just inherited the position. Um, I just, I just inherited the county or something. Like, obviously it wasn't, a. Uh, It wasn't all like, sunshine and rainbows, there, was, there were cultural clashes. But for the most part, as long as you serve the crown, pray to Jesus... Actually, not always, you didn't always have to pray to Jesus. Though it was, for the most part, highly encouraged. And not praying to Jesus was uh, highly discouraged. How are, they, how are these fuckers running away from us? Hmm? Fine, let's go see shit down. That's annoying. You come along and break them. But for the most part, as long as you serve the crown and you are loyal, especially in that, considering how tumultuous the history of the Byzantine Empire is, there were... It was, it was actually it was actually quite a nice place to live. Boiling anger. Nice. Yeah, okay. Obviously, because it was... Uh, I guess it would be a monarchy, right? Like, you'd, you'd call that a monarchy. Right? I, I think so. Um, but... Obviously, because, because it's a monarchy, it depended from ruler to ruler, like, oh, does that ruler like the Germans, or the Norse, or, I don't know, the Sassanids, probably not the Sassanids, well, the, what were the Sassanids in that, during that time period? I don't know, I don't know my history, apparently. I, no, generally, I don't know enough about Middle Ages history, about this time period specifically. Or, well, I know mostly about antique, like, like uh, ancient history, but not much else. Which is shameful. I know. Sad. Embarrassing. But what can you do? Okay. Lads, you're gonna need to be station besiegers. Come along here. Do that. So, yeah, like, you'd think that in you forward well in most games to be fair you'd have a uh, you should have ideas like in most time periods CK, does ck3 have any ideas like cultural ideas i think there are some ideas actually for a different like because uh, there's obviously that uh different culture like uh Deacon Unity? This one? No, same fate. There are uh, debuffs for different cultures or different religions. Suppose. What? What? Uh. Sugar? Peace. Yeah. What am I even talking about? Yeah, I was talking about uh, culture and how it's gonna affect you for like our game in you for. For the most part, it's gonna be a pain. I don't know if there's any ideas to mitigate that, but hopefully there are. And if there aren't, then there should be, because it makes sense. Now we're gonna go crush them here. And they gonna die. They gonna die hard. And they just stopped coming along. And then we go in there, and then we deal with you. We cut you. You're here. You're not going anywhere. Coops. Constructing and constructing. 
constructed somewhere. Fucking hell, why am I so tired? I am so fucking tired all the time. Don't get enough, don't get enough sleep, that's why. But hey ho, what can you do about it? Not much, unfortunately. But, uh, how much longer are these sieges gonna last? Hmm? It's annoying. Yeah, let's see. You should have a general, a siege general. And would you look at that? Look, would you look at who's there? You should also have a siege general. And would you look at, would you look at that? Nice. And the next... Uh, I see another one. I saw two more, actually. You are... You know what? You can sit there, it's fine. You, on the other hand, you most certainly need to be a siege general. And he's a powerful vassal, apparently. He's shit at being a general, but he is a powerful vassal. So, there's that. And would you look at that? They've just stopped right here. You, s you poor unfortunate souls. I'm about to walk right over you. Again. And you can't run. Because you let me step into the same region as you. And you didn't flee. Why, why would you not flee? If you see your enemy approaching you and you can't actually take him. Then uh, you bail. You bail fast. You move fast. Holy hell, that was fast. Uh, Teutonia, I am fighting Teutonia, so might as well. Right? Might as well. Okay. Now, how many of you are gonna be are gonna survive? Come on. Tell me it's none. It's probably gonna be a lot, but still. Actually, what's our best general? Should look at this. Oh, uh, the Empress herself is 30. And our highest is 39. Holy hell, she is pretty up there. He's obviously better, but still. But he's reckless, so... Yeah, I, I don't particularly like that trait. I feel like it's... Like, I don't like chances. In games, I usually... Well, most of the time, I usually try to go for certainty. Rather than taking risks. Sometimes I just go for the risk, but that's usually because I'm just... I don't, I don't care enough. And that's usually why I do that. Most of the time I try to go for certainty. If I'm not sure I can win, then I, I'll try to avoid it. Unless I'm feeling stupid in them for any particular reason at the time. So... So Siege lost. I don't give a shit. So yeah... Reckless, not the best. Careful. Careful is a, is an interesting trait because you'd think I'd like it. It diminishes the risk, the risks, but also the rewards. So, mm. don't like it. Don't like it. It diminishes the rewards a lot. So, like, because the battle, like the rolls in battle, are not going to be too horrible, but they're not going to be great either. Which you'd think I'd like that. I don't. I don't particularly like that. Uh, for fuck's sake, he's gonna go in there and try and... How did he sneak past me? Is it because I was not paying attention? Probably. New temples, new temples established. What? Okay. Uh, any more stuff? No. You know, I could probably go in... Region by region. And, uh... Actually improve each region. Even if it's not mine. Like Sienna here. Hill forts. Get more, get more hill forts. Farms and fields. Get more farms and fields. City. No, well, you're fine. Holy hell, the cities are high up. Okay. Uh, meadows. Get more... So you are busy. Get hamlets. Or you have hamlets, you're gonna get barns and storehouses. And here you can actually get nothing. But you can upgrade the castle. 
yeah, it's it's not okay. We just we just used five thousand. Okay, fine. Let's not do that then. Hmm? Let's let's not do that anymore. And yeah, we need to use up our money, and we don't really have our own land to build up, so we might as well improve everything else. Okay, what is this fucker doing? Hmm? What's this fucker doing? I need to hunt him down now. I'm gonna focus on this right now. He is running. He is running like a bitch. I'm coming for your ass. Don't you even think about it. And he is... He got caught in a fight against somebody that I don't even care about. I'm neutral with that faction. Actually, who are you? Why are you fighting each other? You are raiding. This guy just cannot catch a break. And I'm gonna watch in. The, I'm gonna walk into this county. And just oh, I'm joining the raiders. I'm I'm. <laughs> I was expecting the game to just say nah. You just sit back and watch them fight, and then come in at the end, and smash your enemies, because. You can actually do that sometimes. You can just sit in a count in a holding where your enemies are and they're fighting somebody else. And the moment the, the battle's over, they immediately rally and you immediately fight. It's stupid. Doesn't really make sense. But um, like if you if you think about it, that kind of situ in, in that kind of situation, you absolutely slaughter all survivors. So like. Any, like any survivors, any anybody who fled that battle would immediately get killed by you, by your people. That that would make sense because you would be basically sitting back, watching them run, sending people to kill them, and when it's all said and done, and the battle is pretty much over, you just go in and sweep up the survivors. That's my logic about it, but eh. I'm fine with joining up with traders to kill these fuckers. And uh, let me guess, they're gonna. Where the flying fuck are you going? It can't be here. Battles can be created, prisoners can be ransomed. Where the flying fuck is this asshole going? Oh well. Also, we've... Ah, flying fuck. That is not good. 10,000. 10,000 Irish lads. Who has 10,000 Irish lads? Where are the Irish? Why are the Irish fighting? Who brought in the Irish? Who's the asshole? You're not the asshole. Who is the asshole to that brought 10,000 fucking Irish? Ireland, what are you doing? You're basic you basically have the same claim as I. God damn Irish. Drunk fox. I'm gonna throw a fucking sack of potatoes at you. Uh, I am being an asshole. I am well aware. I do not care. God damn it, Irish. Irish lads. I, I specifically try to avoid fighting the Irish. Because I feel like I'm gonna get my shit rocked. Like, I can win, obviously, it's just the Irish, and the, I'm a huge-ass empire, but still, still, I'd rather not fight them, because that, there is no point. I feel like there's no point in fighting them. But no, the Irish want to take the same land as I do. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna stomp you. I'm gonna stomp on your head, make you pay for it. If you wanna fight me. I'll fight you, and you're gonna, you're gonna suffer. You're not gonna enjoy it. Uh huh. Siege one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Siege one. Come on. Uh, who's the, this? This one. Sixty-two. What the fuck? No, don't tell me it's. Didn't I have war score from battles with you, or something? Oh bloody hell! Well, I'm gonna have. Why are you going that way? 
Stop it. Did I really misclick that bad? You lads. You lads are going there. You lads! Would you look at that? You're going in there finishing that off. That's simple. Okay. What next? Everybody come in here. And help that. Help, help out there. Okay, what next? What next? That's... That should be fine, that should be fine. Now, just finish this. Uh, these guys seem like they're gonna try and do something stupid, so let's come for them. Let's make them happy. By coming for them. Yes. Yes, we are coming for them. Okay. Enough of the shitty jokes. That can't even be called jokes. But hey, I'm coming for your ass. I I don't like it. I don't like when the AI just runs. It's so annoying to deal with. Because I genuinely like. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do when the AI when the AI just bails? Like, eh, we could fight you, but we could also not fight you. So how about we don't fight you? Fuck you, game. Okay, game. You're not gonna survive. You're not gonna win this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who has old Hellenic? What is... Okay, what's happening to our fervor? 39. 80 years. Who... Okay, is she... Oh, no, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna put you on a fucking cross. And then you're gonna learn. 20 months. That's more reasonable. That's more reasonable. You, I believe you're the best. Yeah, you are by far the best. Well, get us culture in... Up here in Scandinavia. And how much more do we need to get tribal... Tribal tech. Tribal tech. Long ships. We're gonna need two more counties. And we are done with the long ships. Well, done with the long ships. We have access to the long ships. Which is very, very good. Like, if you can get long ships... Get the longships as early as possible. Like, well, not as early as possible. There are other other things to prioritize. But if you're gonna go on raids... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure the Norse get them... Like, from the start of the game. They get them immediately. Might be wrong about that, but I think that's how it works. Either way... Uh, longships... They're good because they just... You just straight up... Win. Like, you pay 75% less on every embarkment cost. Which is a lot. And if you can somehow... Uh, I don't know how you would actually end up having... Uh, like, and actually end up doing that. Unless you were a stupidly big empire. Uh, you can actually... Okay, this one's done. Victory. Uh, you can actually end up... Okay... Uh, you can actually end up uh, taking, like, s uh, West African canoes, I believe. Let me look at this. It should be in tribal as well. West African canoes. And that gives you a plus, like, a minus 25%. So if they stack, and I'm not sure they do, but if they stack, then you can get a minus 75 out of uh, long ships. And a minus 25 out of West African canoes, meaning you get free embarkment. And nobody, and I do mean nobody, can do shit to you. Well, in terms of money. Like, in terms of money, you can literally move hundreds of thousands of troops across any body of water, and nobody's gonna ask you for a penny. Which is awesome. It's absolutely beautiful. But obviously, you need to do shit for that. You need to somehow expand, bit, like, from... Uh, to have your culture expand from up here, from Scandinavia, all the way to, well, in this. In this region. I'm not sure where exactly West Africa stops. Uh, no. Doesn't tell me that. I'm not genuinely not sure where West Africa stops. 
I'm pretty sure you can see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see where it, where a region starts and where it stops if you actually look for that. Actually, let me look at this. Yeah, West African canoes in. Okay, in Western Africa, which is. Game says it's this region. So, technically speaking, it's not actually in my reach yet. I might be able to get 22 counties out of it, but that's questionable. No, 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 I, I can totally get 22 counties out of it. But this is West Africa, huh? I'm assuming, like, I'm assuming this is North Africa. So this is West Africa, and this would be, what, East Africa? Does Arabia count as Africa? Because technically speaking, I... Where does... Ar hmm. I always think of this region like the joint between Asia, Europe, and Africa. But does it... Like, this is probably the border between Africa and Asia, right? And this is what border between... What exactly is the, the, the border? Like, obviously, the Urals are the border, are technically the border between Europe and Asia, but... What exactly do you draw the border between Asia and Europe down here? Is it still here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I think, yeah, I think it's also... Well... It probably would be here, right? Is this Asia Minor? Or do you count Asia Minor as... Asia, or do you count it as Africa, as uh, Europe? I'm, I'm pretty sure you count it as Asia, so you, the border is drawn here between the continents. Hmm. I think that's how it works, at least. As for the Urals, I'd tell you where they are, but I don't know myself. So, terrain. That is not what I'm looking for, but thank you, game. Actually, are they here? Is that is that Urals? I think so. I think that's the Urals. Pretty sure that's the Urals, right? Yeah. I think so. Hmm. Terrain, hills, you say. Mountains. I'm a bit real, I don't know. I'm not good with maps. So you may have noticed. Oh, done. We've beaten the hell out of the Tonya. And now we have Saxony. We truly control all of Saxony. Mental break takes plus three years. I, we don't really have mental breaks anymore, but sure. Okay, and that's Teutonia taken care of. And who do we need to take care of? Uh, these, these dumbasses here. Now let's see what's the cost of embarkment. 261 for... Huh. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's a good thing, because we're basically sending... Hmm... Is it? Oh, wait. Why am I stupid? Yeah, 261 for around 26k, so basically... Eh, let's call it... Hmm, 10 for every thousand, I want to say. 10 per thousand. So, yeah, roughly 10 per every thousand troops. And we're gonna get uh, long ships eventually. And we're gonna have to look at that and see just what's the decrease. Because especially if you're gonna go raiding with big, massive uh, ships, massive fleets, then you're gonna want long ships if you can get access to them. Obviously, that's not always an option, so... Hey, what can you... What the fuck are these lads doing? They're just sitting here. Not actually doing anything. They're not actually fighting me. They're not even attempting to fight me. What? Why? They could totally, like... They could totally come in here, beat the shit out of my troops. And I, I wouldn't have noticed. I was busy doing nothing. But oh well, who cares? And there we have it. Done. And now get the fuck out of my lands. He was literally just squatting in my future lands. Doing nothing. Uh, this is weird. D. 
Bohemia, it can be weird. Uh, Bohemia, you can get the land. The county, get the county. Now, let's see. What exactly, what kingdom did I get? Uh, Saxony. We have completed... I think, yeah, we have completed, we have uh, completed Saxony. Honestly, it feels like we're making a collection now. Just, hey, did you get Saxony? Yes, I got Saxony. What about Bohemia? Did you get Bohemia? Yay. How could I not get Bohemia? Eh. It's almost like we're trading cards or something. Making a collection out of it. Merge these armies, and I kind of just want to send them down, to just stand them down. But I also want to keep the Empress on the field some more, because it's fun. It's entertaining for me to have the Empress on the battlefield. Oh well, we have basically all of, well, I want to say all of our troops, but um, I actually think we actually have around 5,000 reserve. Oh, 10, 11,000, okay. Oh yeah, we actually have 11,000 uh, troops in reserve, just, just for shits and giggles. Because why the hell not? Why wouldn't we? And game, can you not? Can you please not leave all the... Actually, do, does it help? Daily progress, daily siege progress. Max 20 days. Okay, okay, so having a big armies with trebuchets, that helps, is what I'm getting here, right? So if I put him in charge, max 12 days. And if I was to say station besiegers, move them there, and you, max 14 days. Okay, so it's mainly the siege engines, to be fair. But, uh, holy shit, we fast. And here is max three months. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so keep an army with trebuchets, with siege engineers, moving all the fucking time. And if I was to move, say, split this in half. Stop, come on. Why are you leaving the bloody trebuchets behind? Ah, fucking damn it. Trebuchets, move there. Select. Uh, come in here. And you. Split in half. And come in here. Now, how fast is this one? 11 days still. So, having multiple trebuchets doesn't really, w doesn't really help as much as you'd think. Like, it obviously does something. But I think it's more of a matter of uh, actually getting any artillery on the field. Get on the field, what you say on the field? Like, well, yeah, on the field outside the castle walls. Trying to take down the castle walls. But having extra artillery is not that important. Like having two, two batches of artillery. So. Also, I'm assuming that's people. Like, that's 120 people, not 120 trebuchets. If you. I mean, it makes... well, no, 120 trebuchets is a huge number. I mean, that's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. Right? Those are big fucking numbers. Extortionate. Use the hook. We'll get more stuff, get more levies. Because uh, we don't really need the extra levies, but hey. If, if we can get them. We'll get him. You are doing your job. You... You. Get, get in there, do your job. And the Empress is gonna basically do her thing. It's not really that important. She's really fucking slow because she doesn't have artillery. And she doesn't have... Uh, livestock pants. Yeah, no, she doesn't have a livestock pants. Come on, game auto save already. Yeah, she doesn't have artillery and she's not good at sieging stuff down, so it's basically taking forever. 
For her to do anything. It's it's slow. But even so, it doesn't really matter. Yes, yes. People are struggling. That is life. That is what life do. Good. Come here. We're here. And you are starving. Why are you starving? Why are you stupid? What you do? And you are starving. I'm assuming you somehow... Uh, I'm assuming I just forgot about you and that's my fault. Yeah, that's probably what happened because... Uh, but looks of things, she's almost done with the siege. God damn it, five speed is crazy. Just scary stuff. You look up for a moment and your troops are starving and somehow your worst sieging army is almost done with the siege. While your good sieging armies have been sitting in a place that they've been undersupplied for months. Happens. Happens to the best of us. Okay, you come along here, and you, you can sit in there, it's fine. Actually, you can sit here. Okay. Now we're slowly gathering the supplies, it's fine, it's all good. Fresh converts volunteer. Quentin's taken prisoner, I don't give a shit, and she is starving. Her army is starving as well. Uh, should we send her home? She doesn't really do much at this point, does she? We just won the war because of her, but sure. So be it. Um, okay. Neighbors can be vassalized. Yeah. I can roll with this. 37 minutes in. Okay, what the fuck? Did I fall asleep during this video or something? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What? what? Okay. Something just happened. Time just sort of jumped or something. Because. Okay, what? This happened, and I'm, pre I'm assuming that happened because I was playing on 5 speed. But, uh. But, uh. Somehow, 17 minute minutes just passed. What? Huh? What do you mean 17 minute minutes just passed? Doesn't make any sense. You. Well, that means I don't have to fight you anymore. I was gonna come swinging at whales, because... But that means I don't have to fight you anymore. Well, hello. Whales just decided to play nice. Well, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it wasn't whales. They just kind of got forced to do that. But still, I don't mind it. Now, all that's left is to actually go beat the shit out of whales. Which I think we can do in actually just an invasion war. Yeah, just an invasion war should be enough. And then a subjugate war for Ireland. Yeah, that sounds fair. And then just rip uh, all about the shreds. Seems like the way to do it. Seems like the most reasonable way to do it, at least. Okay, why am I still fighting this dumbass? Who are you and why am I fighting you? Okay, you are not gonna... Why do you exist? Who, who the fuck are you? But yeah, who, who the flying fuck is this guy? Uh, they select you, go here. And let's play in 5 speed again. And dangerous faction! Ooh, excitement. Excitement, excitement, excitement. Uh, uh, of course, of course, that's all you get. Uh, of course, that's all I get. Just a boring faction that just, that's gonna have 2,000 something troops and they're gonna trigger no matter what I do. So they're just, they'll just die immediately. That's just my luck, really. You think you get something fun happening, it, you don't. It's a lie. You're not allowed fun. Okay, how the fuck... Oh, there's occupied stuff in here. That'll explain it. Read the goddamn tooltips. Should read the goddamn tooltips. 
Okay. Okay. Now get the supplies back and running. Back up and running. And we should be fine. Come on, we should be fine. You are in charge of that. You're good. You're doing very good in charge of that. You're doing very good in charge of that. You are decent. Decent. You're slow as fuck, but still. Now, this should be the last of that. Not even sure who you are or why I'm fighting you, to be perfectly honest, but hey. Yeah, wh what am I even... Oh, he was fighting somebody for the land I just took. Okay. Oh! What? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I cannot even hope to get it. So, fuck it. Who cares? You know what? I I really should finish this episode like right now. But I want to finish this war right now. So, child of my di dynasty, Zoe. Are you special, Zoe? No, you are boring, Zoe. Fuck off, Zoe. And our... Our daughter. Uh, nothing special, nothing interesting. You are rowdy. That means you're gonna be a great general. Go. Actually, you're gonna be a good general. Weirdly enough, yeah. What you'll be doing? A divine purpose. Yeah! Honestly, I love these events. People just, like, members of my family just joining the... Just joining the Holy Orders. It's always good. Like, I don't really care about them. Like, what they do in their life, I just, just cannot be bothered to care. Cannot be asked. And, uh... As a result, they can't actually claim any of my land. They can't... Well, they can't actually inherit. I, can they claim stuff? I don't think they can claim stuff either. But I might be wrong about that. So they end up doing... Well, my work for me, in a sense. They basically make every, make this, every succession a bit more peaceful. Which is always good. Always, always good. Yeah, come along here. We'll stack up with those guys. You're fine, you're fine. You guys are gonna stuck up together. And she got to 29. Okay, so she's starting to, to lose uh, skills with her age. Our dear old Empress. Learning park available. Wash thy hands. You're heathen. Now we get... We come here. You should get that done... 20-something days, good enough. Why are you suiciding into that? You're a dumbass. She's pregnant! Bruh. Go find something else to do. Or someone else. Your husband, preferably. Well, might be dead. And again, I don't know the story behind that, so who knows? Maybe she, maybe she is innocent. Maybe she is just looking for love. Either way, I don't much care. And I get this done. Come on, game. How much longer? One day. And there we have it. Done. Peace. Now I need to upload this, and I need to to publish it in a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Great. Burgundia. Persia, why do you have... Persia, why, it's, why is it you? Lithuania. Okay. Yeah, Persia. Why you? Why you of all people? Why do you exist in this region? Okay. For the most part, looks clean. Now we just need to clean up Teutonia. These fuckers here. These fuckers here. Uh, this one here. All these bits, bit, bits and pieces there. I don't know if I care about fighting these fuckers anytime soon. Ireland and Alba. Ireland, Alba and Wales. I mean, they're gonna be a pain, but 
it's doable eventually. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it done. Sahara and Ghana are actually the closest. Like in this region, they're kind of our next main targets. But I don't want to. I I just don't like chopping into empires. It just feels annoying. And you can't really use invasion all the time. So Damot is probably gonna come after that. Yeah, we're probably gonna try to clean up this next, like this whole region. Then again, they'll just they might just get vassalized instead. Over time. Cause yeah, we're expanding like our religion is expanding well enough to for us to like for us to believe in the idea of expansion of through, like expansion through expansion through through vassalization. But for now uh, for now, we're gonna be fine. It's all fine. Huh. Yeah, we're probably gonna go for Damot next. Weirdly enough. We could try to clean Scandinavia up, but... Like I said, I'd rather just vassalize them. Than bother actually fighting in that region. So, Damot, you next. You are next. And we're gonna have to take you dutchy by dutchy. Fuck you, dude. Suck my balls. Well, there is that, I suppose. And this region, apparently, is also something that theoretically could be a mass vassalization event. Theoretically, I mean. We just need to break the kingdoms and make our way to the small... Well, there's not that many small duchies, to be fair. It's mostly kingdoms. There is a couple duchies, though, so... So... Okay. I saw this icon here and I was thinking, is Mali just a, co a county? No, no, this big icon. Big icon. Uh, yeah, a lot of kingdoms. I, I just don't, I cannot be bothered to chop into kingdoms, like I said. When I see a kingdom on the map, I'm like, nah, don't wanna. Now we have 53,000 dudes. We are slowly but surely expanding and we're securing basically everything we want at this point it's mama birio oh ooh, ooh, one 198 that's awesome that is awesome we're gonna get oh we're gonna get late medieval in just a couple just a couple of years not sure if she's gonna if uh, zoe is actually gonna get into late medieval just do the honors but we're gonna get late medieval, and at the same time that we're getting late medieval, we're also gonna be getting uh, old things and long ships from tribal era. So, yeah, that's that's fun. But yeah, this is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, well, too fucking bad. See.